It's been over a year since Apple updated the MacBook Pro, and this 2018 version is well worth the wait. So what was Apple waiting for? Intel's new coffee-like processors, which add two more processing cores to the laptop. Now, the MacBook Pro has six cores, and the difference is huge. Using Geekbench to test for speed, we found a 44% increase over the quad-core processor in last year's MacBook Pro when using multi-core apps. In other words, if you use high-end Pro software, you're gonna have a little more free time on your hands. Even if you're not using Pro apps, you'll still see a speed boost. Our benchmark showed a 19% increase in performance when using single-core apps. That would include mail, writing software, and even your web browser. Cinebench's OpenGL test shows a nice increase in graphics performance. In this 3D rendering test, we saw a 31% increase in frame rates. That should make animations and video playback a lot smoother. Also contributing to the speed boost is the switch to DDR4 RAM. And you can now install up to 32 gigabytes, twice the amount as before. Pro users have been demanding this, but everyone else can probably get by with just eight or 16 gigabytes of RAM. What else is there to like about the new MacBook Pro? The butterfly keyboard is now much quieter, though we need to spend more time with it to see if it's more durable. And it feels like the previous keyboard, which for some is something you'll just have to live with. The folks over at iFixit did a teardown of the MacBook Pro, and they found that Apple is using a silicon protector over the butterfly mechanism. This protector is probably being used as a shield against dust, and it just so happens to dampen the sound. The new T2 chip handles security features, but it also lets Hey Siri work on the MacBook Pro. So whenever you want to use the digital assistant, just say, Hey Siri. And as someone who always has my hands on the Mac, I don't use Siri very often. But with the upcoming macOS Mojave upgrade, we could see Siri come more into play as it works with a new home app that operates HomeKit devices. If you are hoping for a touchscreen Mac, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Instead, Apple has the touch bar, and it hasn't changed much since it was introduced in 2016. I have to be totally honest here, I don't use the touch bar very much at all. It does have useful functions that change depending on the apps you use, but it just isn't on my radar when I'm using the laptop and it's wasted on me. The touch bar, as well as the main display, now have True Tone, which automatically adjusts the white point on screen based on the ambient lighting in your room. It even works with Apple and LG ultrafine displays. With the way the human eye works, how we see color is affected by ambient light and the other surrounding colors. So True Tone helps create the best, most accurate colors. But depending on your work, you may not like True Tone and you can always turn it off. The MacBook Pro still relies on Thunderbolt 3 for connectivity. You get four ports that also work with the newer USB-C spec. But if you have older devices with USB-A ports, you're gonna have to get an adapter or a hub. Overall, the upgrade to the 2018 MacBook Pro is one for professionals to take notice. This laptop is the fastest one Apple has made, and by a wide margin. And if speed is the number one priority for you well above everything else, you won't be disappointed in the new MacBook Pro.